Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Vendo podcast. Uh, my name is Geffen Laredo, the head media buyer here at Vendo, and I am joined today by the lovely Michelle Long, um, who works in our Bentonville office. For those of you that don't know, we have an LA office and a Bentonville office. Uh, she is on the walmart.com team. I'll let her give an intro in just a little bit. And what we're talking about today is the, uh, is the PackView software, which helps us, which is, in, which is uh, a third party tool that helps us uh, run our WPA Walmart performance ads uh, very efficiently and to date have, has helped us drive a lot of revenue from them. So Michelle, give a brief intro and then we'll jump right into it. Hi, yeah, thanks for the introduction, Geffen. Um, I'm Michelle Long. I, as Geffen said, work out of our Bentonville office where we focus on walmart.com and I am working alongside Geffen just spearheading our advertising uh, partnership with PacView on walmart.com. Yeah, absolutely. So, yes, yeah, so what we're going to talk about today, you know, to kind of start out with is what is PacView? And more importantly, I think for a lot of people is why do we need another software to run the software on walmart.com and the main reason why is because walmart realized their weaknesses as it pertains to uh running ads and what they did was they uh instead of building out the platform themselves they outsourced that production so they hired basically the top amazon advertising agencies those softwares and those services out there that help you run your amazon ads not as good as vendo but you know they help. <laughs> um, and they, uh, and they told these companies, Hey, we want you to do the same thing for Walmart. And some of those, uh, softwares by no means is this, uh, and a fully inclusive list, but you've got Tika metrics, you've got PackView. Who else is there, Michelle? Kenshu is another one. Kenshu. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so we demoed all of them and essentially what these softwares do is they let you run Walmart ads better than the platform itself does. Um, so Michelle, you were running WPA ads prior to PackView, correct? Right, right. And Not so impressed. Talk a little bit about the portal. Yeah, for sure. Not impressed with the data we were getting back, you know, putting in spend, everybody wants to know where their dollars are going. Um, and it was important for us to be on there in the last holiday time, but, um, we just wanted something that could give us more data and our clients wanted that too. And that's what pushed us to PackView. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so yeah, so the PackView platform essentially allows us not only to run various types of campaigns kind of similar to Amazon. For those of you familiar with Amazon advertising, we're talking about, you know, broad manual exact uh, phrase matching, we're talking about manual or uh, broad phrase and exact uh, manual auto campaign types, um, various types of bidding strategies as well. Do you mind opening up the uh, screen sharing? Yeah, of course. So this is the PackView platform. Um, for those of you familiar with the WPA flat platform, this is uh, leagues miles ahead of <laughs> what, they're, what they're doing on Walmart. But um, essentially what we're looking at here is an unbelievable display of uh, data visualization. So we've got everything from you know, your basic metrics, impressions, sales, spend, cost per click, efficiency, things like that with your core metrics up here. And then it gets into some really cool stuff. You're looking at word cloud so i know that for collagen and we're not and we're not keeping this brand specific uh in order to protect the privacy of our brands but you know we're looking at every metric on this on on this keyword you know hoverboards drones and you can see so much data just from this word cloud going down you know we've got performance platform performance month over month data daily spend which campaigns are currently out of budget so what they try to do and by the way just to make this clear for those of you that don't know none of this is available on walmart.com. <laughs> I mean, not a single one. So they basically created the advertising, they fully outsourced the advertising platform. Uh, and within this platform, I mean, we've got so many possibilities of, you know, budget monitoring, actually setting up the campaigns, setting up the ad groups and keywords. There is uh, an AI tool which Michelle, I know you've become very familiar with. Do you want to give a brief background of, yeah. and, I, and I would even argue that this was probably one of the biggest selling points for us in signing for PackView. Um, so yeah, what, what, what's the deal with the AI optimization tool? Yeah, for sure. So um, it's actually my favorite tool, I think, that PackView allows us to have. Um, it 
allows us to set a target ROAS for brands, factoring in daily budget and what we want the cost per click to be. And um, it allows us to go in and lower that cost per click as low as we can while still winning that ad placement. Geffen, do you want to hit on the difference in bidding on Walmart versus bidding on Amazon? Yeah. <laughs> so for those familiar with Amazon, uh, that's, th this should be a given because right. Amazon does this for us. But Walmart, on the other hand, um, they don't. So to give you an example, let's say Michelle and I were bidding on uh, collagen peptides. We're two um, companies bidding on the same keyword. So I bid $3 and Michelle bids $2. Uh, just like Amazon, I'll win that bid, but or I'll win that impression, but that click's gonna cost me the full $3. So on Amazon, in theory, that, that bid should cost you $2.01. Um, but on Walmart, they, they charge the full $3. They haven't even bothered to build out an, an uh, AI strong enough to uh, identify what the next highs is. So that's where PackView comes in, and this has saved our clients an immense amount of money, an immense amount of efficiency. I mean, if we were running PackView ads at the rate that we were that Wal that uh, that Walmart would require us to without PackView, it would be it would be a disaster because we would probably be spending an extra thirty to forty percent, uh, right. but seeing the same results. So this has been a, a lifesaver for us. And the only reason I'm not going into um, all of these different um, all these different features is because we do have our brand names and our campaign names in there, and we do want to protect the privacy of our brands, but uh, th that is, you know, such a big selling point for us is making sure that, you know, the brands that we advertise for, we're getting them the best price for their click. And you can see that this efficiency is phenomenal. Um, Walmart. So, so Walmart is limited. Um, Michelle, if you want to bring up that one pager. Yeah, um, for sure. And show where kind of some of those placements are on the Walmart page. Yeah, for sure. So. Basically, what this is showing us, you know, is where we appear on targeted search terms relevant to your item. So right here, you know, we have a search term pulled up and it's living on the third and the fifth spot. But Walmart recently actually just opened up the top 12 for us to be able to advertise. And so anxious to see how that's going to turn out in the next couple months. Um, but so, yeah, we're, we can live anywhere in the first 12 spots, which is great. Um, and we've seen extreme success there, you know, just outfitting competitors and getting those placements. Um, and Walmart has a lot of opportunities in those areas, too, because not a lot of people are um, on the space yet. And I think that's where Vendo has an advantage because we're here and we're ready to advertise and um, we're continuing to optimize and grow there as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, just to just to uh, kind of piggyback off of that, you know, as as uh, Michelle mentioned to date, there's been only two placements on the page. Right. So we have been vying for we have been competing for those two spots. And without that, um, without that AI optimization tool, we would have been overspending an immense amount just just for literally just for two slots. So Walmart has said that they're opening that up to 12, as Michelle mentioned, so we'll see when and how that's going to be rolled out. But regardless, what, what, what you can see here, which is very clear, is that Walmart is moving in that direction. They're moving in the direction of, um, of Amazon in showing these product listing ads on their pages. Um, they're getting smarter and smarter about where they're being placed. So sometimes you'll see them the first two. Sometimes you'll see them like here, three and five. Uh, sometimes even on the second row, uh, right. Walmart's testing all of that out. So that that's going to come down the pipeline. What we're most concerned about uh, at Vendo right now is we know that Walmart is a market. We know that it's also largely a, a largely untapped advertising market. And even though we estimate that your sales on Walmart.com will be somewhere in the realm of about ten percent of what you're doing on Amazon, probably a little more at this point, fifteen percent maybe. Um, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be growing sales there because right. eventually walmart.com is going to have a robust advertising platform. They are going to have a robust um, customer base that is, that is choosing their free two days, two day or same day delivery over Amazon's prime, which is $120 a year and um, getting the foot in the door early on, making sure that you understand the platform as it gets built out, as opposed to coming into this platform in a year or two years when it's already complex and you have to relearn it and everything um, is a huge advantage. That, and, and, and we've seen that advantage for our clients. I mean, where we've gone aggressive and where we've seen big wins on this advertising, uh, those wins have been big. Um, and they've Absolutely. driven in, 
incremental revenue. And, and one major point, Michelle, which you can definitely speak better to than I can, is Walmart, because you know the buyers are still people and there's, it's, it's such a person-to-person -person experience selling and advertising on walmart.com, how does that help your business when, when the buyer sees that you're, uh, that you're running ads, that you're uh, investing in the platform? Absolutely. Um, and one of my favorite tools on PackView that um, we skipped, which uh, Geffen, I'll let you pull that back up so we can show oh, everybody. Sure. Yeah, is that competitor analysis tool. Um, this has been a key win for our clients. And it allows you to see on the left hand side over there, um, it allows you to get insights about your share of shelf and your voice on um, some of these key keywords that you would be bidding on. So um, yeah, you can click over there, right there. And you can do keyword SOV. Yep, awesome. So what this is showing us is how your brand is performing in certain keywords that we've grabbed for you to look. So what um, brands are able to do now is say, hey, you know, I'm dominating my space on .com and taking this to the store team and, you know, arguing for more modular placements. So using PackView to be able to speak to those store meetings has been a huge win for our clients as well. Um, Walmart loves the investment. Um, we, we all know about Walmart Media Group and what they can do, but just being able to partner with Walmart as a whole, whether that's through PackView or through Walmart Media Group, they do like to see the investment and it helps in dot-com meetings and it helps in store meetings as well. Wait, so Michelle, you're just to be clear, because this is actually a really big point that me being on mostly on the Amazon side, I didn't, I, I'm not fully familiar with. Right. You're saying that you're able to leverage this data for better in-store placement. Right, right. Because that's, they that's want crazy. That's, right. They want to awesome. see your investment. I mean, they they want their site to be comparable to Amazon and that's what we're able to do here. We're able to say, hey, you know, we have this percentage of ad frequency based on our search terms. And if you're winning that ad frequency, they're like, okay, th this is the investment that you put in, you know, let's right. partner together. And whether that's getting a, br a brand banner, things like that, because we know not like Amazon, it is a person that can control that banner as well. So leveraging those relationships is super important for us. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I think that one of the biggest problems that any omnichannel omni channel retailer is ever going to experience is how do you uh, how do you attribute your in-store sales to ads? Right. Um, and I'm not saying PackView can do this because we're a very long way from that. But what we know this can do, which certainly this is much more uh, convoluted and difficult on Amazon, is we know that if you perform well and you have this data that PackView is providing us, then we can go to the to Walmart on your behalf and say, this is why you should be having XYZ more in store. Right. And we can directly grow in store revenue with the data that PackView is providing. Absolutely. And another key insight that we've gotten from PackView, especially during COVID, is the item health that PackView has um, implemented and showing us how often we are winning that buy box because we all know everything's been a logistic nightmare recently. So just having those insights is letting, you know, the supply chain team know what's happening there too and making sure we're running ads on items that we can actually purchase on site. Yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, all the things you're talking about are, are things that are so uh, valuable to the Walmart business because on Amazon, as huge, as massive as it is, you're still limited to the e-commerce platform. So you're still limited to however many searches there are for your product or for your category. And when it comes to Walmart, even though the dot-com space is so much smaller, you know, this is a company that does $500 billion a year in revenue for a reason. So Absolutely. using this data, using this data um, to leverage the other aspects of your business, and more importantly, I mean, let Vendo do what we're good at, you know, right. let, let, let Vendo, you know, our bread and butter is this time is this kind of stuff. So let Vendo and team direct and B direct, uh, who are our parent companies and who are other, uh, subsidiaries within our uh, organization, you know, let them communicate as best they can with us and with the Walmart buyers to grow sales on the channel through all the different channels that Walmart offers. Um, Absolutely. and I think that that's just so valuable. Um, and 
you know, for those who are listening in the Amazon world, world and they're like, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I hear you because <laughs> it made no sense to me. But Walmart is still, call it old fashioned, call it whatever you want to call it. They still do people. They, they're still old fashioned, but they still do, you know, per person to person interaction. And that's very important. And that's how you grow your business in Walmart. So this is where PackView really is a data visualization tool and a data access tool um, takes you know, our brands and Vendo ourselves to the next level where we're able to do all that stuff. And on a very basic level, we can leverage our Amazon data. Absolutely. And so um, I, I, just, I know that I'm always sending you keywords. Right, right. And, and it's great to have both. And I think a key thing we've learned too, and we've seen this in one of our buyer relationships that we have now, um, they love the investment that our brands are doing. And yeah. it has actually gotten us some placement for holiday on some of the holiday search terms that are going to be so relevant um, in November. So the investment is definitely there and it's happening and they love to see it. So it, it really does help leverage those relationships that you're mentioning that are so important to the Walmart world. When uh, you talk about placement, what do you mean? Precisely. So I mean, um, so I know in Amazon, it's not the same, but for yeah. a buyer, they can go in obviously and pin your items to the top of certain search terms, place them at specific places on site based on their rules that they have in the back end. So that's what I mean by placement is getting those spots that they have control over and getting our brands in those spots. Yeah, I mean, and anyone who sells at Amazon is is probably frothing at the mouth with jealousy <laughs> because if that's all it took on Amazon is to call up someone that you know and say, look, we're spending some money, put us at the top of the page, uh, every brand would do that in a heartbeat. Right. Um, so, so, so that's where, you know, as, as you build these, and that's what you always say, getting the foot in the door, right? Because we're in now, right? We are investing early on. We're giving these buyers a reason to come back to us in four or five years from now when Walmart advertising and walmart.com is a powerhouse and give us that preferential treatment over other brands or other agencies that might've gotten in in two years or three years. Absolutely. And I think that, and I think that in the long run, um, what we're able to do for our brands now through advertising and specifically through the PackView platform um, is giving us that leg up across the board. Absolutely. Well, okay. I think that um, that pretty much covers it. Do you have anything else? Anything uh, questions, Michelle? Any, anything else? Or I think we're probably good to go. Yeah, I think we're good to go. That was great. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening and uh, looking forward to talk to you guys soon. Yeah. Have a great one. <laughs>